Welcome to Thriver TV, the place to break free from narcissistic abuse with quantum tools and understandings. Boundaries are everything. I love helping you understand boundaries because it will change your life forever. In today's Thriver TV episode, I'm going to share with you three powerful ways to set boundaries and take your power back, no matter what anybody else is or isn't doing. So let's move on to find out how. But before we get going, I just want to say I am so excited because next week I'm beginning my Super Thrive three day workshop in Melbourne with other incredible thrivers creating their lives at their highest potential. If you want to find out how to join me and this exclusive Super Thrive tribe, please click the link at the top right of this video. Okay, so now on to today's video. Let's start with the truth about boundaries because first of all, I want to explain to you a little bit about boundaries. Most people know not to leave their front door open, car unlocked or their bank accounts unsecured. Yet so many of us did not know that our values and our rights needed to be just as powerfully protected because if they're not, we live other people's values, rights and truth, even if these are contrary to our own. And these could be so out of alignment that they're even abusive to us. So let's start by getting very clear about what our values, rights and truths are. All right, so let's have a look at your values. What are your values? These are your deep soul commitments to yourself and life. These are the things that make you feel safe, healthy and happy. Such things as honesty, decency, kindness, mutuality and teamwork. Maybe other deep values for you are benevolence and compassion and care for other human beings. Possibly your values are also about a healthy lifestyle and family values. I really urge you to sit down with a pen and paper and write down what your values are to get very clear about them. In fact, I'd love you to pause this video, take a few minutes to connect to what your values are and then share them below in the comment section. By you sharing your values, it may help somebody else get very clear about their own because remember, we are all in this together. Okay, then it's about understanding what your rights are. Your rights are about being treated in alignment with your values. It is wrong town for us to get connected with somebody who does not share the same values and believe that they're going to respect our rights. It's impossible for them to do this. They simply don't have the resources to. So what is your truth? Your truth is whatever you are participating in, even if you don't like it. Your truth is up to you. It's never up to anybody else. If you believe that it is, then you're handing your power away and it's going to be impossible for you to live your truth. And this is where boundaries come into play regarding creating your truth powerfully. Okay, so let's get into the three boundary setting steps. Step number one is state your values. To enforce your rights, you have to be able to state your values truthfully. And this could be at the beginning of potential relationships or even in the midst of abusive ones. When you're in your power, you state your values. You're not saying what somebody else is or isn't doing. So an example of this may be in, let's say, response to someone who is being unreliable in a dating experience. You could state, I'm only interested in dating available people who follow up and do what they say what they will do. If that's not you, that's okay. And I'm saying goodbye and I wish you all the best. Then 
be quiet and allow the other person to respond. They will either fully step up or not and you will have your answer. Or when receiving abuse from somebody close to you, you can state, I will only engage when I'm spoken to sensibly and decently and then completely detach until that happens, regardless of what else is thrown at you. Or when you suspect that you're being cheated on or deceived, if there is proof that is irrefutable, I can believe it's the truth. Until then, I will no longer be attached to you. Can you see how stating your values has nothing to do with the other person? This is about you taking your power back by anchoring into your values and stating them firmly. Step number two is back yourself up. Step number two is harder than step number one. This is where you can doubt yourself, renege on the boundary and hand your rights away again. The total truth of life is this. If you are not prepared to stand for your values and back them, you will be living a life below the level of your values. Whatever you tolerate is what you will get. It's an energy leak. It's a hole in your boundaries. By backing yourself up, you are declaring this to all of life. I want you to repeat this after me. And this is what you're stating as boundaries. I am inviting you to join me in authenticity, honor, and health. If you have the resources, you will join me there. And if you don't, then we are no longer a match. I declare to all of life who I am and what I will tolerate. I now create my truth. Now feel that in your body. Feel it. What does it feel like? Then I want you to pause this video and share how it feels for you below. Okay, so I hope that you realize how powerfully important this step is. You need to know that backing yourself up does not mean lecturing or prescribing to people and trying to get them to get it. You can't make other people get anything. The more you try to get people to get you, the less they will. Only you can get you. Then healthy people will follow. Additionally, you will save yourself a lot of heartbreak, despair, pain and abuse by letting go of those who are not diligently and actively stepping up to meet you at the level of your values. Step number three is holding your alignment. Okay, so just say, for example, the person who was unavailable starts arguing with you or making excuses. Or the person in your life who is speaking abusively to you tries to pull you in and continues fighting with you. Or the suspected lies were defended and twisted and turned back onto you. This means, thank you, I have my answer. I'm moving on and I wish you all the best. Now, realistically, maybe the person speaking abusively is your child who you can't leave but this means that you don't grant them your energy until they are respectful to you. So when you're holding your alignment, you can't be attached to outcomes. You can't be attached to a certain person meeting you at this level. 
by holding your alignment you will start to understand that the people and situations that do represent your true self and true life will enter and can join with you whether or not they are existing people in your life or people you've never met yet is irrelevant what is important is you finally living your authentic healthy life our boundaries are never up to somebody else to present us with love, approval, security and survival. As an adult, this is our job, which is between us and our soul and life itself. People can only match you at the level that you're at with yourself. And you will be tested. You may have all sorts of fears and doubts and excuses as to why not to hold your boundary. This is the uncomfortableness of you breaking out of the old patterns that haven't been working for you into the new ones which durably will. So when making this life transition, when you start implementing boundaries, a great clean out can happen. Ultimately, what and who is not aligned with your truth will go. And this can be very painful. You may feel very alone and in unfamiliar territory. It can be so easy to go for the quick fix, the self-medication for the relief of loneliness and pain by hooking up with people and substances that you know are not your true values. It's very hard to do better until we get better. The inner work is all about getting better so that we do better. If you dedicate yourself to your self partnering by doing the inner work and NARP is the easiest way and the most powerful way I know how to do that, then you will find that it's so much easier to hang out and keep redefining your boundaries and hold them until real people and things start to appear in your life. And I promise you they will. Okay, so I hope today's episode has really helped you define what you need to do and the inner work and journey that is involved here. And it's my deepest passion to help you connect to the journey to create the life of your dreams, which you can do so by clicking the link at the top right of this video. And for those of you who are already NARPers and are interested in more intense and activated work regarding boundary setting, then I highly recommend my Empowered Self course, which has three whole modules dedicated to boundary setting in it. You can do deep boundary work there to get this right. So you can find out more by clicking the link at the top right of this video. And as a last reminder to those of you who wish to learn how to super thrive and unlock your highest and best life in the most powerful ways that you could imagine, Please join me on the 23rd to the 25th of March in Melbourne by clicking the link at the top right of this video. I can't wait to hang out with you in person. And as always, I look forward to answering your comments and your questions below. So until the next one, keep smiling, keep healing and keep thriving because there's nothing else to do. Lots of love. Bye bye.